Welcome to Walnut Ridge Primary School. My name is Rosemary Gephardt, principal of the Little School with the Big Heart. I would like to take you on a virtual tour of some of the programs in our school. Come on in and join us. Let's go inside. First grade students are selected to be a Walnut Ridge safety and help regulate traffic during our morning arrival. They are responsible to keep 500 students safe and walking in two lines as they enter the halls of Walnut Ridge. Every week, a different class is selected to lead our school in the flag salute, sing your grand old flag, and to encourage everyone in the building to make it a great day. Walnut Ridge students begin each day in a morning meeting. The morning meeting is an engaging way to start each morning, build a strong sense of community, and prepare for the day. Students and teachers greet one another by name and practice offering hospitality. Students share information about important events in their lives. Everyone participates in a brief, lively activity that fosters group cohesion and helps students practice social and academic skills. For example, reciting a poem, dancing, singing, or playing a game that reinforces social or academic skills. The closing activity is a short message written by the teacher. The message is crafted to help students focus on work they'll do in school that day. Our peaceful playground is used during physical education class and recess. The games on the peaceful playground get students involved with physical activity while playing a variety of games in organized activities such as hopscotch, beanbag games, and Foursquare, just to name a few. The games of the Peaceful Playground promote positive social interactions. Students at Walnut Ridge participate in a data-driven balanced literacy program designed to provide a solid literacy foundation for beginning, emergent, and independent readers. Our Foundations program is a multi-sensory explicit cumulative word study program that is used to teach students the structure of words. Students learn letters and sounds, how to blend sounds together to decode, and how to segment words to encode or spell. Students also learn about non-conventionally spelled words that they see, use, read, and write frequently called trick words. Students practice reading fluently with controlled text so that they can transfer this knowledge to their choice texts. Today when we go back to our seats, we are going to pick a new fiction book and we're going to try to find the characters and the setting. In reading workshop, students are taught an explicit reading skill or strategy through a mini lesson where the teacher models a specific skill or strategy with the mentor text to show what readers do. Students try this skill or strategy with the teacher to practice the skill. Students also use turn and talk buddies frequently as they discuss, question, and explain what they are learning. Students then move to various areas of the room to try the skill or strategy with their independent reading book. Readers build their reading muscles by continuing to practice skills that match their reading level. As the classroom teacher moves around the room, she confers with students and assists students with specific skills to help students grow as readers. The lesson concludes as the class comes back together to share what they have learned about themselves as a reader that day. So when you're writing today, when you pick out that writing piece that you're working on and you're looking back at it, I want you to make sure you have that nice middle part to it, okay? Similar to reading workshop, students are taught an explicit writing skill, strategy, or craft in the mini lesson. The teacher models how writers write through specifically designed lessons demonstrating the writing process. Students work on their independent writing as the teacher moves around the room to confer and assist students. The workshop concludes with a share to discuss how their experience went that day. Each unit of study is concluded with a publishing party where students celebrate each other's success in the writing process. Guided reading and literacy centers are also running simultaneously in the classroom. 
As students work at their instructional level in a small group, they practice explicit language art strategies with the teacher to reinforce areas of focus. Meanwhile, students work in centers as their teacher works with guided reading groups. Math and focus is a three-phase approach to learning. Concrete, pictorial, abstract. We counted, very good, excellent, okay. Students learn math through hands-on activities, as well as through calendar math concepts, which is woven into the morning meeting. Applying math to everyday situations is what makes this program so engaging to our students to make mathematical discoveries and help build conceptual knowledge. Each lesson is broken into an anchor task, where students learn the new concept, students are provided guided practice, Students learn in centers directly related to the topic taught, and finally, students practice the skill on their own. Here at Walnut Ridge, students enjoy a variety of special area classes. In art, students learn the basics of elements of art through the various art projects they create using different media. Students in music learn how to be artful, beatful, and tuneful as they respond to music, dance, and singing and learn about different instruments. The Media Center is much more than a school library. Here, students enjoy more than just books. Students can also participate in hands-on problem solving and building activities known as maker spaces. Students experience reading through 21st century technology resources such as iPads, coding, and a 3D printer. Our physical education class incorporates social skills with exercise. Students learn and play organized games on the peaceful playground that promote working together and turn-taking skills, something that everyone must know how to do well. Twice a month, students receive beginning-level technology skills in the computer lab from Mrs. Kellich and learn conversational Spanish from Mrs. Warren. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Oh. De nada. ¿Cómo estás? Our teachers use best practice to help keep students focused and on task. Me Moves is a self-regulation program that many of our classrooms use that combines music and movement to help children get their minds and bodies ready for learning in a matter of minutes. This research-based program is almost like meditation in motion that has been found to increase calmness, focus, and attention. Me Moves is used often within our classrooms to facilitate transitioning from one activity to the next and to be a ready learner.